What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with our Tales of Crystoria video. So, we're finally going to be hopping, I say finally because I'm a little bit late to it. Uh, I spent a little more time uh, going through hard and very hard of the Lloyd side story than I normally would have, just because all the mobile games decided to drop all their stuff at once, so I was pretty busy with that. But, uh, let's go over to the event itself. Uh, the event that has the new... Well, actually, before we go to the event, let's go over what the Memorias do. Where you'll be able to get an SSR Hisui Memoria and an SR Pascal Memoria. I actually haven't even looked at what they do yet. That's how, uh, <laughs> I guess, busy I've been. So, first things first, I believe the Hisui Memoria is... Fire? I believe? Yep. I don't know if that matches his character or not. He doesn't really come off as a fire character to me, but I could be wrong. Uh, okay, so his Memoria is 8,000 HP, 1,500 attack, 1,000 defense. So it's a pretty balanced Memoria for... Uh, are those the stats? I don't even remember what the stats were when we first looked at it. I thought it was, like, really weak. But uh, that's great for fire. Uh, and it's a crit damage up Memoria. So that's actually going to be really good for uh, my fire team overall. And then the water uh, SR Memoria should be the Pascal one. Uh, yep, the only one I do not have, obviously. Ooh, it's an Evasion one. I like that. Uh, 12,500 HP, 400 attack, 900 defense, and 50% evasion to water allies. That's actually going to be really nice. I, <laughs> um, if you could get a really good... Like, just imagine... Because uh, obviously Estelle, the light Estelle, has a bunch of kind of like evasion just in her like ascension and stuff. Imagine if you got a light Memoria on top of that that gave more evasion to that. You're never going to touch her in the arena. That's, you're just never going to touch her. Anyways, let's go over to the event and kind of explain what the, this is the final event, by the way. Before the anniversary starts in like literally actually it'll be two weeks from tomorrow. So it'll be Friday the 16th um, Or at least it should be anyway uh, should be when the anniversary starts now. Here's the thing I don't know when the banner is actually gonna go live like exactly because this banner the Colette and uh, red one is for 19 more days so Realistically, this banner is going to be here till the 20th, but I do remember when the six month anniversary happened and we got these three, the old banner for like that month was still going even after this went live. So, um, I do think, oh, and it's 14. Okay. This is it. This literally goes till the anniversary is going to start itself. Definitely. Okay. So yeah. So the 16th will be when this goes away, you know, when both of these go away, uh, and then the, uh, anniversary itself starts. So. Uh, which, of course, I like to, you know, remind people that we pretty much know what it's going to be. It's most likely going to be the Unlocked Blood Sid versions of Kanata, Mizella, and Vicious that we got in the last main story chapter. So, uh, if you are going to want those characters, it might be a good idea to uh, be saving right now. If you haven't cleared all the content you can clear, maybe start grinding stuff up. I think I'll pretty much have around, you know, 30,000, maybe a little more. Uh, before the anniversary starts, what I'll probably end up doing is make two videos. I'll probably do like 25,000 Gleamstones in one summon. And if I don't get everything I want in those 25,000, I will save up until I get another 25,000 before it leaves. And then do a second summon video before the very end. Uh, enough about that though. Let's talk about what this event, uh, what you kind of have to do here. So it is another raid event. Um... But you do also have the normal stages. So we're going to do stage 14 and 15 in here. But uh, it's pretty much the same thing you usually do. You've got the 15 stages after the story. And then you've also got a raid. Now, here's the thing to note about this. They still are keeping it the same way where you only get event points from clearing these stages. You do not get event points from clearing the raid. I already tested it out myself. All you get from the raid are these uh, materials to use in the exchange shop so if you don't care about what's in the exchange shop which for the most part i grabbed the seer orb all these other materials you can farm in story so i don't really care so i pretty much just grab the seer orb and then i grab the uh the stones and then i pretty much call it good so i'm not gonna be farming the raid that much um but yeah so we'll the uh element you want to be using is fire 
So uh, we are gonna, which is nice, be, which is nice, and it makes sense because uh, let's just use three of them. That should be enough. Um, since Ifrit right now is the only uh, spirit that you can put on a team, fire is the most ideal color to be using. So this is, re and I have him maxed out. Uh, I'm still working on his spirit board, but I do have Ifrit at level 10, so he gives 10% stats, uh, you know, across the board, uh, which is pretty nice. And this is the team we're going to be running with. Uh, we have Luke and uh, Ruka in the back to kind of give their buffs with their uh, rainbowed uh, abilities, you know, their skills. And then we're keeping this team here in the front, which... Uh, you know, the big damage dealers are, you know, the three characters you see right there. Like, even Kohaku's still pretty high in terms of damage. Um, when I uh, guard broke this uh, boss we're going to be fighting, I actually hit for over 200,000 with her, uh, which is pretty nice. And then Mao, I easily hit over 300,000 when it's a guard break. Um, this is what we're going to go with. We are going to activate one of the uh, 5% uh, things here. I think that should be good. And uh, we'll see how this goes. I'm pretty much in one rotation of a guard break. I've pretty much killed all the bosses up to this point. Or this boss up to this point. So let's buff everybody first. Normal attack with Kohaku. We'll use this ability to buff Mao. Uh, heat wave. Unfortunately, you can't burn this boss. But we'll go ahead and we'll do this anyway. Might have been good to actually save that, but that's okay. So he does that little bit of damage. We heal that up real quick. This rotation, we're not really going to do too much. There it is. We're not going to try and break him right here. So attack. 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 That's fine. Um... Hmm. You know what? Let's go one more turn so we can get him as close as possible. There we go. Is that about half with that uh, gauge right there? So it should be fine. Um. He's not going to attack this turn, so I'm not going to worry about buffing everyone just yet. Ooh, that's good. Okay. Let's go with this. Okay, so the guard's broken, which is nice. Uh, let's let Mao get in here. Gonna hit for a decent amount here. Oh yeah, three. Disgusting. Three hundred sixty thousand. Right, let's see how much this goes for. Okay, he's almost dead. Uh, this should do it. Yep, we're good. And we should be able to do the same thing, kind of on the uh, next stage as well. Uh, I think Efri really does. You know, even though it's just ten percent. Uh, having that a free buff is still really, really nice. Uh, and I'll be happy to get it for the other colors, too. Plus, Sharia is still such a good healer. You know, having that defense buff and two heals is just, you know, my, my team never goes down in health. Uh, plus, we do have that extra uh, healing circle with uh, Kohaku if we ever need it. So let's just dive in. We'll do it again. And uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll do the same sort of thing. Buff everybody first. Attack. Buff. Attack. Okay. That's fine. You're not hitting hard for much of anything. Plus, none of my fire units are really, like, squishy in terms of defense. They all have pretty good defense. Um, so these small attacks that he's going to be hitting us with, you know, that's like a decent amount of Oh, and that's got wildfire too, which is kind of annoying, but, uh, it's really not that bad. Uh, yeah, this is fine. Uh. 
Yeah. Okay. That will be fine. All right, this will be perfect. That's just a heal, so it's not really a buff, so we're not gonna worry about that right now. Yep, there's a break. Mal's gonna do his uh, big damage. Uh, I don't think we're actually gonna kill him here. We might. I mean, I'm not worried either way. He's gonna die next turn if he doesn't die here. Yeah, okay, we're fine. So close. Okay, we're fine. And then we, of course, do it definitely under 12 turns, so nothing to worry about there. So yeah, fire, definitely my best team currently. Uh, we cleared all 15 stages with literally no effort whatsoever. Uh, so, you know, in terms of points, I'll just, you know, auto or uh, skip farm for this uh and kind of get everything there i guess let's look at the rewards real quick before we get out of here i probably should have done that first but uh you know you get stuff like the memorias and stuff like that in the early stages i actually just got my first he suite right there uh, let's see if there's anything of note in here you know you got your summon tickets uh of all different kinds nope just like gleamstones and summon tickets i'm sure it's the same amount of gleamstones you know like a thousand or so uh, so definitely hold on to those for the anniversary and that's pretty much it. So let me know what you guys think down below Let me know if you're excited for the one-year anniversary, which is about two weeks away and uh, I guess if you summoned for uh, Colette or Raid uh, Let me know if you pulled them or uh, if you were going for them uh, Definitely want to know down below. So that's gonna be it guys. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more if you new to the channel I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day everyone